Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at MailSpring. Is it the best email client on Linux? But first, please like and subscribe to my channel. Remember, it doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. So first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over to Add and Remove Software. Now this should be available on all distributions. Today we will be doing it on Manjaro. I have the AUR activated. I have my mirrors updated. So I'm going to go up here and do a search. We need to download MailSpring. There you see it popped up right there. So we're going to go ahead and click Download, Apply. It'll show you the dependencies you need. Go ahead and apply, put in your password, and it will start to download. There's one other item we need to get after this. And when MailSpring gets done downloading, I will show you what we got to go do. Okay, MailSpring has finished building and it is now installed on the system. So when you get done with that, you need to type in genome keyring. And you'll have all of these pop up. What you want to do is go down here where it says genome keyring, store passwords and encryption keys, download that. Click apply. So now we have genome keyring and we have MailSpring. So we can close out of this. Go down, we will look for MailSpring, and let's get it started. Now what you'll notice with MailSpring, it'll give you all this nice information here, and this is the screen you'll have. It'll say, create your MailSpring ID, already have a MailSpring ID, or just need the basics. MailSpring just went completely free and open source earlier this year. You used to be required to create a MailSpring ID. You do not anymore. They still give you that option, and they do offer a $8 a month premium option. This mail client that you're getting right here has everything you need in it. You don't need to pay extra. Now, if you're a business and you're working on Linux or Windows or Mac and you want to use MailSpring, you can. What you need to do is just go down to the bottom here. Just need the basics. Skip for now. And it'll ask you again. Skip MailSpring ID. Then your key ring will come up. You'll have to type in the password that protects your mail system. And you are done there. Now it'll say connect an email account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install one of my Google accounts. It will grant access to MailSpring. Then you can say, do you want your reading pane off or do you want your reading pane on? I want it on. So I'm going to continue further. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to close out, finish the setup. And then it will pop up and start populating that email account you just entered. And of course, Google's going to give me a security alert and they're going to tell me that I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I am. Thank you, Google. Stop trying to be my dad. Now, first thing I want to do right off the bat, there's a few things I want to change. Obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to change my theme. So we're going to go down and change the theme. I'm going to go to a dark theme. You'll see it change. Go ahead and close that out. Now I have a dark theme. Now Google has sent me this. If you notice right here, the reading pane tells me MailSpring was granted access to my account. And then over here, I've got a contact bar that gives me information about the contact. Now, once you start getting emails from your contacts in your email list, it'll have their name and whatever information contact-wise you have saved for them. Email address, business, phone number, things like that. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and shut this contact pane off. The way you do that is you just go click on the contact and then they're gone. Now here's the way it presents itself. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this over a little bit. So I got a bigger area to read. As you can see, it automatically opens the images and you don't have to worry about changing any settings there. Now, the next thing I want to do is make my font bigger. So I'm going to go over to preferences and I'm going to show you all the preferences you have on MailSpring. Click on preferences. You've got general accounts, subscription, appearance, shortcuts, mail rules, folders, signatures, templates. And if you go down through all of these, this is all the customization you have on MailSpring. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the appearance and I'm going to make my text a little bigger. Here is where it's sitting now. So I'm going to go ahead and ramp that up a little bit. I'm going to go about there because I'm near blind and I have to wear glasses and I'm going to go back to my inbox and there you go. It's much bigger and much easier to see. And then also on preferences, you've got your accounts that you can put in. Subscription, this was the $8 a month I'm telling you about. You don't need it. Appearance, you can change it to a single panel, two panel, two panel vertical. Let's apply the layout. And there, you can read your messages down here if you choose to. Me, I've always went for the side by side, so I'm going to switch that back. Another great thing about MailSpring, once you have all of your email accounts loaded into it, you see that they're itemized over here, but you go to Inbox and it automatically has all of your accounts under one inbox. So you can have an integrated inbox for all of your incoming mail. So let's go back to preferences. Another thing that I do like is you can set a signature. You can go down here 
You can go ahead and put your name, title, and as you put it up top, you can see that it, it sets it there for you. Like, you can go ahead and put your email address in it. And as you continue to add information, you add your address if you want, your website, Facebook URL, LinkedIn URL, Twitter, Instagram. You can set this as the default for all your mail accounts. So if you got two, three accounts like I do, I can just set it as default. And when I send an email from any one of those three accounts, it's going to come up Troy Holt Owner Advanced Mobile Promotion and eBuzz. And I forgot to put Central on that. But it's going to put on there that this is who you're receiving the email from, no matter what email account you're using. You also have templates. You can create your templates in here. If you want to do form letters, you can save them. Folders, what folders you want shown. Shortcuts, if you want to set shortcuts, here's your keyboard shortcuts. You just hit the keys and it'll open it up for you. Then you can have the default window control menu, default window controls and auto hiding menu bar. There are so many different ways that you can change this up. You can go to a dark side theme and you can still have the dark over here on the side. And then this is all light. So there's so many different ways you can make it look. And there are so many different ways you can customize it for your personal wants and your personal needs. Now up here, up top, you've got archive. If you want to archive this email, you can archive it. If you want to mark as spam, you can mark it as spam. If you want to move it to trash, you just click and it's gone. If you want to star it, you can keep it starred so it's highlighted in your feed. You can mark it as unread, move to folder. You can apply a label to it. And then, of course, you can show your sidebar that'll have all your contact information on it. So let's go ahead and hide that. So let's go back up top. You've got search with ease right here. You can type a search. Let's say Google and it'll bring up all the Google emails that I've received. Boom. There's what I've received. If I go to YouTube. Let's see what I've received from YouTube. There's all my YouTube emails. So search is very easy. It's very concise and it's quick. When you compare MailSpring to the other Linux email clients that are on the market, Thunderbird, Gear Email, Evolution, none of them are as functional and have the form of MailSpring. It is a beautiful email client. It is a polished email client. Tell me what you think of MailSpring in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.